This is my air source heat pump for the swimming pool. This is the third year I've had this heat pump. Before that I had a gas operated heater and it was just absolutely prohibitively expensive. So I decided to go for an air source heat pump uh, and I don't regret it, it's an absolutely brilliant piece of kit. I actually use flexible pipes to connect it up so that I can remove it in the winter. You can hard pipe it and it suggests that you hard pipe it in the manual but uh, I think flexible pipes just makes it much much easier. That's where I'm going to wire the thing up to. I've got a 20 amp switch in there inside a waterproof cover. In the manual it gives you a specific type of breaker that you need to fit and you can get it off eBay very very easily. Right well that's the heater wired in and the next thing to do is to connect the inlet and outlet and as you can see it's very easily identified. They've labeled it with nice big labels there so that you can see which pipe goes where. So I'm going to fit them now. It's a very easy process. Right, so the first thing to do is to make sure that everything's clean because you've got a rubber seal in there and you really don't want bits in there otherwise you'll get leaks. So that's what's inside the joint. You've got a, a rubber o-ring, the cap and then the pipe goes in there. So the easy way to do it is to slide the cap over the top and then and the o-ring and then just push it in right, and then it's kind of like you know you've got plenty of play there it does not stop there so just make sure it's like located enough maybe three or four inches and then screw it down and then you'll feel it start to bite as I'm twisting there you can see that there's no like pressure on that now then you can hear that it's biting so just hand tight should be enough that's the first pipe in, we'll do the second one. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the full flow of the pump through the heater by shutting in the bypass. I'll go and do that now. Right, that's the full flow through the pump now, I dare say you can hear that. There's a the control panel. So that's telling you at the moment that the uh, the water's around about 19 degrees centigrade. I've got it set at uh, 28, which I figure is about the right temperature for somebody to be swimming in. To give you an idea of how long it takes to warm it up, I reckon it will take two days to take it from 18, 19 up to 27. If you watch this gauge, that needle has got to go in the green for the heater to be happy with the water pressure and flow. Uh, but the compressor's not started yet, so that'll start any moment, and then we'll see that slowly rise. There it goes, that's the compressor kicking in. And you can see that gauge is now creeping up. So there's that's, that's us into the green now. So that's saying that the actual compressor is happy with the water flow it's getting. It's got a switch so that if the pump stops it will turn the heater off. I'll go and stop the pump now and you'll see that happen. So the machine stopped on its own when the pump stopped. Uh, what I do when I'm using it is I put the pump on constantly. I don't uh, have it on the timer because I don't like the idea of relying on a switch to turn the compressor on and off. So that's the control panel. You can uh, increase the temperature you want it to uh, raise the pull to or decrease it. Uh, you put the fan on its own, I don't bother with that. Uh, I actually don't use anything on the control panel apart from the on-off and setting the temperature on the pool, so... I reckon about 28 is the right temperature for it. It's very, very simple. Uh, unfortunately, I've lost the instructions. Uh, but if I remember rightly, it's a 10 kilowatt machine. But compared to using a gas-fired boiler, which is what I had before, it is considerably cheaper and well worth spending the money on. 
We'll just wait while that kicks in again. There it goes. So that's the machine running. It is fairly quiet. One advantage is in the summertime when it's really hot, it blows out really cool air as it takes the heat out of the surrounding atmosphere. So you can actually sit in front of this and cool off. So that's it, an air sourced heat pump. If you've got a gas boiler and you're thinking about upgrading, then you can't go wrong with an air sourced heat pump. It's far more efficient, it's just better all round, and it's better for the environment as well. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Please feel free to leave any comments. Thank you very much.